With the school year cooling down and the spooky season at the horizon, why not slow down to enjoy this transitional period? Take a seat. We've got some equips from the past serving you at the counter, a new season for boosters for you to flip through on the table in front of you, a pickup of part timers adorning the ceiling lamps, and a couple new evolutions playing from our radio. Lightning round! These gotcha equips are no longer printing, but for those that did try their luck, are there any standouts to place in your sticker book? Three, two, one, start! Really keep in touch. Is it in yet? Touch some grass. Five dollars is five dollars. My disappointment is immeasurable. Free real estate! So you're a free thinker, are you? Infinite paths to the future. This guy stinks! C -c -c clear and with that, you can now enjoy a full tea set of rank experience boosters to pull out for a rainy day. Now, feast your eyes at the current features of this campaign. No mess. While a retreat from society is something we all need, a full break into the wilderness is a lot to swallow. Just ask the space jaunting metamorph. Nomad rushes forward for his chance at revenge, chewing through enemy forces with his moderate strength while dodging and evading retaliative strikes while his squad is able to survive any brush from death once a phase. I'll let the harsh reality sink in. His playstyle of mere survival, with limited range and reliability coupled with negligible team utility, is out of touch. Nomad should turn his rage to himself for a short sightedness. Let's skip the script angle. The one and only unsubstitutable must-have gacha unit in this entire game. Andwari completely warps the game around him, and it's not even close. Being the only gacha unit that can boost coin drops a substantial additional 15%, this is reason enough to consider him as must-have. He can natively equip seasonal boosters for blossoms, seeds, rank experience, guild seals, card experience, and ally points too, making him an obligatory pick for farming in all free quests, both among your selected 5 members and your support slot. He won't be dead weight either, having extreme reliable magic damage, a quick charge, and even survivability and solo carry utility rivaling Kenko. You absolutely should pull for him. No exceptions, even if he's printed alongside literal dog water, because he's an absolute monster in battle, and a heavenly demon in the long-term optimization game. It was a well versed with Mother Nature, this mountain deity thrives off her bounty as an all-in-one man's man. Luring groups of prey in, he sets the trap to ensnare and weaken them, while his fellow foragers passively enjoys protection from any counterattacks. His respectable damage is further magnified when he switches out his gear, capturing even more fauna, a truly adept survivalist. He traps and hunts effectively and safely, guarding against sudden deaths while monitoring and patching up his own health. As a do-all-well unit, Yamasa Chihiko is an excellent investment from Anvari Shop. If you're short on general purpose units, Go redeem him now, if you haven't already. You. What in Christ's name were Lifewinder sinking with his evolutions? With a massive, worldwide guaranteed two-fold amp, Yul joins the ranks of Shaladal, Fushi, Wakan Tanka Infinity, and Ching Long. The crux of it all, Yul is not a gacha unit, and is easily redeemable through weekly mission shards from Anvari Shop. With the potential to equip boosters that amplify ally damage further, Yule has trotted his way into first in his class as Valedictorian, decorating his portfolio with healing, charge fill, death resistance, and positional control, making him the clearest recommendation for beginners. Forget best among welfare units. Yule is easily one of the best units in the entire game, with near zero cost to undercut his peak reward. Get him now! Not even an anniversary did I give two perfect scores. What a crazy campaign this is. Short, but sweet. Uh, perhaps even too sweet. For the beginners watching, difficulty in this game is a thing of the past so long as you bring your own Yule with a solo carry support. And you won't fall behind resource-wise if you snag Anvari too. That's all for now, cuties. Catch you next time!